I'm recording this video about a week after the passing of Isao Takahata, because I think a lot of modern anime fans don't know who he is and the impact that he had on the anime industry. Takahata is not just some director who made interesting anime. He is responsible to a large degree for anime being what it is. He was working at Toy Animation back in the 70s to really try to bring anime animation standards up to the, the quality it was out in the West. Uh, he really was pushing for complex stories and um, an approach to animation that understood what animation was at kind of a molecular level where you didn't absolutely have to have a Disney quality budget to make a Disney quality film. That's really what Horace Prince of the Sun was, which was his first major directorial credit. Um, while certainly a film aimed more at kids than anything else and kind of an adventure story, uh, there's a lot of interesting stuff going on in that movie. It has pathos. It has tragedy. Um, it has a very dark story in its own way. And it doesn't shy away from any of that. Throughout the rest of his career, he was always moving anime in directions that people just didn't really didn't really expect it's one of the weird one of the remarkable things about Takahata is that he loved animation his longtime collaborator Hayao Miyazaki um, while definitely an animator at heart um, was always using animation to make films Takahata was making films so that he could make animation um, if you watch The Tale of Princess Kaguya, Takahata's last film, you'll see somebody at the height of his craft who is creating animation that speaks to you at a, a very direct level without requiring massive amounts of budget, but also knowing where to put that budget, where to make anime count, make the animation count. As a result, his films often weren't categorized very clearly as anime. Grave of the Fireflies certainly doesn't look like Gundam or Macross. Grave of the Fireflies is a work of art. My Neighbors the Yamadas uh, was really trying to play around with digital technology and with very different methods of producing animation and made something charming. Not a lot of... of mainline things, you know, mainline movies qualify as charming, and he managed that in the Yamadas because he understood animation. As a result, Takahata has kind of, kind of been on the sidelines of anime. And anime fans don't really, um, don't really get exposed to a lot of his work, partly because he was making movies, rarely. Uh, he, he really kind of moved out of the industry to a great extent um, and made only a few movies over the past couple of decades. Because, partly, he'd kind of made his mark. He'd done impressive stuff in the 70s and the 80s um, and into the 90s. And he'd, he'd proved himself. And unfortunately, in the modern society, there's this sort of, you know, well, what have you done recently that's interesting? But he did some really interesting stuff. Um, he helped prove that anime was not just for kids, that anime was a medium of art, and we owe him that respect, uh, if not just for the respect of somebody who was able to use this medium in ways that consistently surprised and impressed its viewers. Rest in peace.